What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be opening up two uh, booster draft three pack boxes I guess you could say little mini boxes of the double masters. Uh, we was wanting to open a uh, sealed booster box but they are either completely sold out or they're just priced way too high to even uh, obtain at the moment. Uh, so we'll get into these. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll see some of the cards we're working for either for just the new art just to collect or some to add to some of our decks and stuff too. So, but we'll see what we get. I've had some people have pretty good luck with these so far, and some of them just turn out uh, really, really bad. Unfortunately, as far as any sort of gain. What do they want you getting in these? That's for sure. Going through the bottom, it's a little easier, I guess. But let's get these out of the way. Start with the double pack and see what we get here. And like I said, like we normally do, we just kind of skip over the commons and uncommons and just kind of go towards like the mythics and rares and foils and whatnot. So, although there are some really good uh, mythics ones, and already this is like you know compared to like the VIP packs, which are what a hundred dollars plus a pack. At the time of this video, uh, most of those are foils, but I mean, you're really paying for the pack, so you really got to hope to get something good in that. So, Leisure the Tangle and Hana Ships Navigator. And we get Ancestral Blade and Dark Steel Axe as the two foils. Which I don't think I have any of that. Hannah. Um, uh, I've had several of the lieges laying around from like, uh, the first go around, but somebody will probably want it to trade a couple pieces of the Urza's Chalice. Sweet. Blood Moon. And Rudiclad, I guess. Might be saying it, butchering it, uh, terribly, but Baldovian Rage, Foil, and a... Blaze Fiend. Don't recall this one either. It's really cool artwork on that one though. And a treasure token. Let's see what we get here. Another plant. Ravenous Trap. Would have liked the blue one instead for my commander or my casual deck, I guess. It's not really a commander, but it's more casual. And Academy Ruins. Not too bad. Got a few of those, but extras are always good. And Thought Third Foundry. And oh, Naginata for the two foils. Let's see. I'm back into the second box. Let's start with a single this then. I like a dark copper knot, and of course, a, what you call it, a uh, new art of the. Uh... Oh, slipped in my mind. Force of Wheel. It's a really cool art on that one. Time Steve. And Goto Bandit Warlord. And Death of the Cobra and Sentinel of the Pearl Trident for the foils. Swing and a miss. Pack five of the six. Really wish I had a box. It just seems like your your layout, even though they're pretty chaotic, there's I'm sure there's somewhat of a pattern, but you have a better chance of not getting multiples of the same ones. But of course, some of the boxes the same people open. Uh, you know, they get four or five of the same rare uh, out of the uh, little four packs of the VIP pack. So I mean, you can even swing on those or swing, do a swing and a miss on those too. So. And Snaring Bridge, nice. And Basket's Collar, which really, I mean, it's a good card, but there's other cards that could have been better in that slot. Or one of the swords would have been nice. <laughs> and a Sarah Sphinx and a Metallic Rebuke. And last pack, last pack hopefully get something. Uh, I mean, other than maybe, what, Academy Ruins and maybe a Snaring Bridge. The only ones off the top of my head. Blood Moon's been printed a, a, like, what, 20 times now, so it's probably $70. I could be way off, but I'll check them after the video, whatever. But considering these are, um, what, $40 for 
or a three three card pack. Um, Fulminator Mage. Not that I really play modern or anything. And Blow a Spore Thrynex. And another Legion of Entangle and Gleaming Barrier. So, nothing real great. Uh, but I mean, I'm, I'm glad I just got to open up some of these. Uh, uh, some of the cards from this set. I'm hoping to get try to get a, a box, a booster box. Uh, that way we can um, open up 24 packs with a better chance of getting some of the new artworks on some of the cards. Some of them I've never even had, so I'm kind of excited to get a few of those too. But whenever we get that, we'll just post that. And we'll see y'all next time. Later.